Hello there friends. I'm going to make a quick video about the abilities at your disposal in Final Fantasy 16. I have finished the game on action focused mode and now I'm on New Game Plus and this is what I landed on for kind of general utility where I can take out a boss very easily but at the same time I'm in really good shape to take out lesser enemies very quickly and efficiently. And there are some substitutions that you can make here, but uh, this is what I like so far. And before we get started, the third icon slot right now is Bahamut. And the main reason is because I just don't have enough AP yet to master Giga Flare, and I want that. So I'm just kind of stuck with a useless icon. I don't see the Mega Flare ability as being particularly useful or something that I want to use. If I could swap this out right now, I would probably put Titan here or possibly Garuda, depending on the situations. Um, but also on this Phoenix slot right here, if you like Shiva better, I like this for kind of a general movement slot so I, I do use the phoenix ability to close in on an enemy but shiva is interchangeable here the one that i would always keep no matter what is odin for odin's ability let's do an ability breakdown first i have will of the wikes which is a double-edged sword and one of my favorite abilities um the two uses I have are obviously the negation of damage when you are trying to fill the stagger meter. But once the enemy is staggered, this thing actually is really useful because all of those fireballs making contact quickly build your stagger multiplier very quickly to hit that 1.5 cap. And even if you have every other timer down, this thing is super useful. And then in slot number two, I have Flames of Rebirth. And there's going to be a general theme on these abilities. Uh, and I'm looking at Stagger. And the biggest thing that this has to offer is you get a nice burst of damage that A, will increase your multiple again, like Will of the Wikes, due to the multiple contacts. But more importantly, it stops the timer of your stagger meter going down so it's like a free damage burst so and then additionally when you are just running around and need to kill fodder this is extremely useful and when you get to the point where you're in a fight where there's like over five enemies and say you have an empty limit break gauge you can quickly fill that with this ability and kill off pretty much anything or significantly weaken it. So I'm a big fan of this ability. In the next slot, I have Odin's Dancing Steel. And this is the only thing that I use to fill the Z gauge uh, for the Odin ability. And there's an issue with this where you have to charge it up for a couple of seconds and not get hit. This pairs really well with Will of the Wikes. Will of the Wikes overcomes this problem. So I'd punch square, then triangle, punch square again, and then I have an interruption free cast of this ability. So if you're using it during the trying to get the enemy staggered phase, that's the way I like to go about that. You can also use this while the enemy is staggered for another free hit. And I'll fire off the ability at level 3 situationally, but I generally try to save this for level 5. And I have it fully upgraded. So next up we have Shiva's Diamond Dust. And this is the best stagger move in the game. And it's also good for killing fodder just like the Flames of Rebirth. So these two go very well together when you don't have your Z gauge full. And I use it all the time on bosses or anything else. So pretty self-explanatory there. These two are my favorite abilities for once you have filled the stagger meter. And situationally, because Giga Flare has a lesser 
recast than Judgment Bolt. I'll use Giga Flare in non-stagger situations because you do end up getting a slow-mo. Now, the thing with Giga Flare, you have to actually aim it at the enemy, and you can actually hit multiple enemies at the same time with no consequences as long as you get yourself lined up in that proper scenario to where your beam can hit multiples. And then Judgment Bolt is a single target move, but it also hits stuff nearby. So this is useful in non-boss situations as well. Now, situationally, there are other abilities that I like quite a bit. Uh, the first that comes to mind, if you know that you are fighting a boss, Gouge is one of the best ways to quickly get the stagger meter ready to go. And additionally, if you time gouge where the stagger meter is about to fill up and you're about to trigger stagger, if you get like that last one hit with gouge and then you continue into the first part of the stagger, you will very rapidly rise it to that maximum multiple. And so I'm a big fan of this ability. I bring it back all the time. Now, I'm at the phase where I have a good amount of AP, but I still have to like constantly shuffle things around. So, I will be very frequently like resetting abilities to free up AP like so. Now, I just got 9,000 back for Diamond Dust. Obviously, I want to keep that. I just want to demonstrate that you can do that and get some flexibility uh, to prepare for any fight that way. Let's see. All right, so my main goal right now is to get enough to master Giga Flare so that I no longer have to use Bahamut as an icon. Um, Titan has a couple of good situational abilities where particularly this one, I like this one a lot. Uh, if you're a fighting a physical heavy enemy that has slow predictable melee attacks you might want to shift this one in in place of i would say probably probably flames of rebirth would be the first one to go on a boss enemy so when you're looking at subbing in gouge or or this I would probably drop that one, but it really depends. It's situational and, and what you like in your playstyle. Also, one of the main vulnerabilities of Diamond Dust is the enemy has to be on the ground. So if you're fighting something that's constantly in the air, this would be the first thing to go and you keep Flames of Rebirth. So like I said, it's situational. Um, some other abilities that come to mind, if you're not in the end game phase, um, I really like Scarlet Cyclone, and I also really like Pile Drive. These are just two good abilities that you can instantly fire off and hit people around you in a similar radius of Diamond Dust, but not quite as much. The only issue I have is they both send enemies back, and I would want to fire them off rapidly in succession so that I could basically get the the damage of a big move without having one so that's kind of their main drawback but their recast timers are very good let's do some combat and i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about i'll start with diamond dust every time that usually doesn't change and depending on the situation i'll go ahead and activate activate will of the wikes and usually also limit and that will quickly take down the remainder of the stagger meter and you can mindlessly counter a lot of the attacks like that. And I'm gonna make contact. You wanna be making contact with your fireballs and then I'll fire off uh, Flames of Rebirth first and then I'll do Judgment Bolt. And then I will do Giga Flare. And at this point, Giga Flare is getting the 1.5 times, and then I'll fire off Zanteta Kutsen. And then Dancing Steel. Oh, I've got some other enemies in play now. No, no big deal. 
I would prefer that I'm still making contact with the Bighorn, but okay, now I'm warped across the map. A little bit of a curveball there, and then I'll just fire this off now. And then Will of the Wikes is usually back. And so is Diamond Dust. And then Limit's usually back pretty quickly too. And what I want to, there's the Giga Flare timer. Giga Flare can help you finish off an enemy outside of Stagger. Because, like, it doesn't make sense for me to go for the stagger at this point. I can just get the win that way. And there you have it. Thanks for stopping by. I'd love to see you again. I'm going to have a couple more Final Fantasy 16 videos before I get back to covering Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So let me know in the comments below if you have any tips that I need to know about for combat.